Hi, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Keep Creating. I'm so excited. We've had so much cool stuff going on that it's actually causing things to sort of fall behind here, and that's why this is going up late. I'm actually recording this right now as I'm waiting for our guest to arrive for episode 9 of The Work, which we'll tape today. We've already booked our guests for episode 10 and 13, and we've gotten up on iTunes. And- and it's just been a really exciting time for filled with activity for both the work and the Somebody's Basement sketch comedy troupe in association with Straight Jacket Society. Take a look. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the work. Remember, it's all about the work. You don't get to say that. I just did. Ah. <laughs> awesome. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh yeah. We got Haterbot, Napoleon Bon Appetit, Sleep Here Now, Stop Requested, <gasps> Betty and Dee Dee. Nice. Nice. Yes. Oh. We would like to thank the fine folks over at IMDb for recognizing somebody's basement as an awesome online distributor and supporting web content everywhere. Higher energy now. Yay! Yay! Okay. I was already in a good mood, but whatever. <laughs> hey, we're, we're cranky pants. <laughs> uh, Melissa Leo goes rogue with her own personal campaign ads for Oscar. I want to talk about that. I saw that too. Yeah, it's, 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 well, especially considering the whole self-producing. And if it doesn't erode your brand because you're already kind of folksy, let's say. Sure, yes. Yeah. I think as long as it speaks to your brand. Yeah. He wished me a happy birthday on my Facebook wall, and he typed it while he was sitting right there. Yes. And then it actually said, I'm sitting next to you. And then how did it... I'm sitting next to you. You don't even see this coming, do you? You don't even see it coming. I put it down, he's like, oh, you sent me a Facebook. Damn it. (laughs) He was really discreet, too, and he goes, shit, I didn't know it was your birthday until 15 minutes ago. (laughs) (laughs) Good friend. Uh, welcome to another interesting edition of The Work. I'm Ryan Basham, our engineer, producer, and hey sayer is Keith Johnson. Hey. And here's your host, Bonnie Gillespie. Hey, everybody. I mean, we're seeing a lot of the same people on the television shows all the time. Mm. Recycled. Is, yeah, which is a little little sad to see. It's which really is probably is pretty much why we kind of venture out into the bigger sort of playing field over here. Absolutely, because we like that's the thing that we find is is yeah recycled actors are recycled over in Australia, whereas here we find that they're much more open to um, finding unknowns. You know, getting fresh fresh blood, fresh meat in front of the camera. You know, trying mm-hmm. something different, taking a risk. And so putting a new show up with new faces is not as much of a risk. Well, I think everybody wants to to maybe be the one who discovers, and I hate to use that word because, of course, you've not been discovered, but you've had a light shown on you. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody loves the opportunity to maybe be the person that you thank when you stand up and hold something gold and shiny. Yeah. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. All right, so we're having our pre-meeting before the crew meeting, before the cast meeting, before the balls out socializing. Balls out. It's all in a Wednesday. It's, it's also in your endo. Because balls that's for real. What? Well, actually, I need to know if you're not going to because I have a... <laughs> oh, please tell me I got that. Oh, oh please oh. tell me I got that. <laughs> oh, God, if I got that, if, if, and if I got it, I'm going to do it in slow-mo. <laughs> I'm going to put sound on it. More. Ready to go. Okay, oh. He said, I think somebody's basement needs to have something like a Saturday Night Live. I shouldn't speak for you. Do you want to... No, but that's exactly what I said. He said, we need need a Saturday Night Live. We need a company of actors that can do amazingly funny things, that is fun to watch, that's fast-paced, and we have a place to put it up online. It needs to be shot in front of a live studio audience. So a meeting, we thought about Straight Jacket, asked if we could have a meeting, sat down, made it happen, and put out a casting notice and got nearly 1,200 submissions to be a part of this project. And you are the resulting... 65 people that we decided to invite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something important. Hang on, I just got an email from the guy who has been completely don't don't tape. I am so tired of talking about Charlie fucking Sheen. 
is we're gonna edit together a compilation of all the times that Ryan has said, moving, moving on. on. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Um, <laughs> so BAFTA, Grammys, Ricky Bieber, um, movie Box Bieber. Box office, yep. B Box office Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like where this is going. I don't know if I can handle it. And that's it, right? The defining moment was in that class, feeling the feeling of someone taking your words and, and doing with them what what actors magically do, mm. and and having everyone turn to me and say, "You wrote that." Like it, that was my first big success. I was on fire for writing after that. Exactly. And you can't allow that to be an addiction. Procrastination is an addiction. Mm -hmm. If you stop procrastinating, you start creating more. When I write, I write for directors. Ah. That's my thing. So I don't picture myself in a role. I don't picture any of my friends in the roles. I picture the director who I see directing the piece. That's fascinating. That is interesting. Big thanks for coming back, everybody. We'll see you next time. And until then, keep creating. <laughs>